Hello folks, and this is Key. Uh, let's go ahead and play PatchCon. As you can tell here, my laptop is good and working, and uh, basically the story is that uh, due to Marissa constantly stealing uh, Petrulli's books, they uh, Petrulli had to uh, make some dolls to protect the library that was made out of mud. And uh, somebody stole the book to how to make rival dolls, uh, make Marissa, and basically it just goes into a feud. Uh, I unfortunately the screen goes rather rather quickly, and that's just because I had to use hypercam, and this game uses like a bazillion frames per second, so it's gonna move at the speed of like stupid. Uh, what we're going to be playing on is normal mode at a free team. Uh, most people who've done LPs in this in the past normally use the 100k mode. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it too quick. I, I apologize for it going quick like that, but that's just uh, how the recording broke, came up. But uh, free team is harder than uh, just a design team. But you get two extra characters you can use. Uh, one of them I'm showing off in this uh, playthrough, and then which is that Curl Frog Girl, and uh, the other one I don't really know. But my team for this consists of uh, Flandre, Scarlet, Yumu, uh, Yuki, Figus. The, the frog girl and uh, I can't I can't really read the other two. Uh, this is all post recording, and I'm not familiar with some of the characters. Uh, but hopefully you guys can catch it small enough. Uh, Flandre and Yumu are both melee units, and everybody else is a Don Maku or. Uh, it uses a special spirit attack sort of unit. So if you can kind of organize your teams and the special purposes stuff uh, will work out. Uh oh, and now we got giant uh, Cyrano's. <laughs> uh, basically, you have to defend the clock, defend your library for one entire day. I believe it starts from uh, 12 and you have to end it at 12. Or so maybe half a day or something. And now we've got a chin rush. But anyway, uh, the first power up that I used was uh, a fire power up, fire card. Uh, basically, hits all enemies on the screen for 50% health. So it's useful if you get swarmed and you're behind and whatnot. And now they sent in a patchouli wave. Kind of fun. But just as you play along, this is a, this is a simple little real-time strat game. Uh, there is tower defense mode, however, it wasn't designed as fully as I think they were intending it to because they give you because you can go to free team. And they give you melee units for it, and since melee can't jump off of the ridges, it doesn't really work. And then you have uh, one unit that can actually fly cr fly through gaps, so you can actually make a wall of them and kind of block the enemy there. So that doesn't work either. Anyway, there's four other spell cards I'll go ahead and talk about. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the other design problem with this game is if you have to get units at the top left of the corner, uh, you could accidentally drag your screen. So, but anyway, back to the spell cards. Uh, as you can notice, there's four more spell cards I can use. Uh, one increases production very, very fast. One increases attack and speed. Uh, one gives a temporary shield on the library so that nobody can steal it for such and such period of time. And the last one is increase the special defense and defense.
and basically as you just go along, you upgrade your units, buy more units. Uh, the higher up they are, the longer they take to produce, so, so you have to be careful. Most players have uh, a couple units that are really, really high up, and then they'll put like a bunch of spam units like Tway and stuff like that. But it's up to the play style, I suppose. And like I said before, a uh, free team is harder than the uh, regular team select. There's like six different teams you can choose from, or you can make a, make your own team. And basically, if you use the selected teams, the range of enemies is less versus if you use free team, it uses everything. So you never know what. So it kind of makes it random and more challenging. And here's an Alice wave for you, for all those Alice fans. And a rainbow rave. I mean wave. <laughs> uh, some people like to do like one character only runs. Some people like to do uh, mixed character runs, like I said. But this this playthrough is just uh, just doing a standard game at normal with free team. Is it, but you guys can do whatever. Anyway, the reason I was saying before in my uh, Tao Hao Mon game of this being the prequel of the Tao Hao Mon is just some fan base uh, rumors on the Tao Hao Wiki was, well, maybe this is the prequel because this is how the dolls are made and do the repercussions of it. Oh, and here comes a Marissa wave. Uh, Marissa just goes ahead and goes straight for the library, so easy to kill. There's also thief mode for people who want to be cheap, uh, where all units just go to the library, they don't attack back. And here's an Aaron Rave. But as you can see here, there's tons of frames going on all at once, so it records. So that's why there's so many skips and there's flashes and stuff. So. But uh, unfortunately, I don't win this. I think, yeah, I don't win this match. And I've seen people who like to do the 100k run so much, or they'll play it on easy. So I wanted to give you guys uh, another treat for PatchCon actually showing a, hard, a little bit harder gameplay. Playing it the intended way rather than the uh, than using the specials. Uh, as far as other things, you may notice at the start of the video there is a st there was a Steam button. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be playing any Steam games. I had to uninstall it. Uh, Team Fortress 2 had some sort of cheapy graphics effect where everything looked like rainbows and you look like you're in an acid trip. So I had to take it off. Uh, also, uh, Mabby is on the fritz yet again. And a lot of my friends have been telling me that uh, Nexon has been rather bad on the customer service as far as Mabby Nagi has been going. So... Uh, I'm having to take even longer break, and I don't think I'm going to do any more Mabinagi videos for a little, a little bit of a while. Uh, but unfortunately, that means I have no real main game project, so uh, there are no MMOs or whatnot to play on. So I'm kind of stuck there. But otherwise, uh, um, with this, my laptop's fixed. I'll probably be trying to catch up on the uh, projects that I couldn't get done before, like the Just Breed and the uh, and the Fire Emblem LPs in comparisons. Uh, and I might do some. 12.3s, but beyond that, I really don't know what I'm going to do for future projects at the moment. And it looks like, yeah, I'm about to get pummeled here. <laughs> Stupid charm effect. Uh, 
and we'll go ahead and game over and we'll call this a video. Here's my final score. So, uh, later. And thanks for watching.